The next stage of the Murphy Crossing project is underway with the construction of a new road and its roundabout at Brookswood Boulevard. Take a look. We're here at the future intersection of the Brookswood Murphy roundabout and there's some clearing and grubbing work as well as some tree removal work going on right now. And ultimately this is going to be a future roundabout that's going to connect from the new Murphy Road bridge over the highway all the way out over to Brookswood here. Well, our connection is to have an east-west crossing here uh, that connects the west side of Bend to the east side of Bend in a way that is much more, the word I come up with is facile or easy uh, for motorists to make it. Currently, the traffic patterns in this area are not ideal. A lot of people use the Pinebrook uh, Road to get to and from the west side over to the highway and 3rd Street. And Pinebrook was never designed to carry that amount of traffic. So having this connection of Murphy to go over the highway will be really ideal for people to get into the businesses over on 3rd Street and to have easier access to the highway. The idea for this project actually came about through uh, the City Council of Bend, plus working directly with ODOT, where our, our, our needs converged uh, at this project and the combined forces were able to get money from the Jobs and Transportation Act of 2009 to, to do this really what amounts to a, a first big phase of a project that we envision will significantly improve the corridor down here and access to Highway 97. The construction has begun already. A lot of it won't be seen by the public at this point in time, but starting on May 14th, the contractor is going to be allowed to do a full closure of the intersection here on Brookswood and that's going to last until September 4th. So the idea is that we're going to catch the tail end of this school year and have the roundabout complete and open before next school year begins. Uh, more or less the middle of May we'll see the full closure come to pass and at that point motorists are going to have a challenge. Uh, it'll be a full closure. We elected to do the three-month closure during the summer after talking to a lot of the stakeholders in the area including the school district and the neighborhood associations and ultimately decided it would be easier to do the full closure and get it all done in a smaller time frame. Our other option would have been to do a single lane closure but that would have taken the contractor at least twice as long to build this intersection and it would have impacted this school year as well as next school year. When this project is complete we'll have an entire concrete section of roadway all the way from the roundabout here down to the roundabout of the that we're going to be building also this summer at the intersection of Peril and Murphy. The full closure will begin on May 14th and will last until September 4th and so there will be a small window at the end of this school year that we will need to coordinate with the school district with and we're doing that now but the ultimate goal is to get this project wrapped up before the next school year begins. That's it for this month. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to give us a call. And remember, besides COTV Channel 11, you can watch all of our City Edition episodes on the City's website, our YouTube channel, our iTunes podcast, and we're even on Twitter and Facebook. Check us out. We'll be back next month with a brand new City Edition.